ArrayStar lets you visually compare gene or SNP sets using dartboard and Venn diagrams. In this example, I've already created sets for non-synonymous SNPs from each of three human ethnic groups, European, Asian, and African. Now I want to compare these SNP sets to explore which SNPs they do or do not have in common. To access the Venn Diagrams view, I can click on the Venn Diagrams tab, or use the Graphs Venn Diagrams menu command. In this example, the Global SNP Sets area has check marks next to all three groups that I created prior to this video. By default, the dartboard mode appears. In this mode, individual sets are represented on the outermost ring, each intersection of two sets is represented on the second ring, and so on. The innermost circle represents the intersection of all sets in the diagram. The maximum number of sets that can be represented in a dartboard is limited only by the screen resolution. Since we're working with fewer than four sets, we can also see our results as a Venn diagram. To do this, we just click the Venn mode icon. In Venn mode, each SNP set is represented by a circle. The areas where the circles overlap represent groups of genes, or in our case, SNPs, that are common to two or three sets, depending on how many of the circles overlap. Note that each section of the diagram is labeled with the letters corresponding to the sets represented in that section. For example, the section representing the SNPs found only in set A and set B, representing European and Asian, will be labeled AB. Looking above the display, a toolbar provides tools for performing tasks such as printing, copying, or changing the color display. There are several ways to get information about the SNPs in each section of the Venn diagram. To see the number of genes associated with each set, we can click on the Active Sets tab. To view details about a particular section, hover over it with the mouse. Details are displayed in the Info pane on the right. To make a selection, click on any section of interest. After making a selection, the Info pane will show what has been selected and provide action links. In this example, I'll select the non-synonymous SNPs found only in the African group, then save them as a SNP set. Besides using manually created sets, ArrayStar lets you create temporary sets automatically based on the maximum p-value and or the minimum fold change. In order to activate the Create Temporary Sets button, I need to change our data type from SNP to Gene. Then I'll click Create Temporary Sets to open the dialog, and in this example, I want to perform a pairwise comparison based on a fold change of 5. For simplicity, I'll choose just one experiment from each of the three ethnic groups. Finally, I'll click Create Sets to generate the temporary sets. Next, I'll check the Fold Change box to display the results in this view. I'm now going to click once on the center of the diagram to select the area in which all three groups overlap. As you can see from the info pane, ArrayStar has located 57 genes in which there is at least a five-fold difference between any two ethnic groups. From here, I can perform actions such as hierarchical or k-means clustering of the selected genes, or view the table of the selected genes, which I'm going to do next. To learn more about Venn diagrams in ArrayStar, or for information about any of our other products, please visit our website at www.dnastar.com or contact us at support at dnastar.com.